Hi, I'm Selena Valenzuela, and I'm going to tell you about this week's patient. My patient came in saying, I'm here because I have been feeling tired and have had nasal congestion, runny nose, and my face hurt for the last four days. My patient is a 21-year-old, well-nourished Hispanic male, states that he's been feeling tired for the last week. Um, and has had nasal congestion and runny nose for four days. Patient says he may have had a fever because he felt warm, but he didn't measure his temperature. Patient states he feels worse when laying down because facial pressure increases and he coughs more. His symptoms are better when resting and his head's elevated and has been taking pseudoephedrine and acetaminophen to manage his symptoms. My patient has no history of chronic illness. He says he's working full time and trying to take some college courses as he is able, but it's been difficult as he's a new father with a six month old baby. He and the baby's mother are a married couple who have been together for two years. He has no known drug allergies or food allergies and no seasonal allergies that he is aware of. He denies any history of surgery. He's presently only taking the pseudoephedrine and acetaminophen as needed to manage his symptoms, but no uh, prescription medications. He says he's up to date on his vaccination. His last flu shot was um, this October, this past October of 2018. He plans on getting this year's as well. He reports he occasionally experiences anxiety due to financial stresses which is why he's feeling really tired. He says he lives with this 21-year-old wife and in a small apartment in town. Um, both are working full-time and taking care of the baby. He and his wife both attend college, he told me. He denies any history of uh, smoking, drug use, or any kind of tobacco use. He tries to eat healthy, but he says he's always eating on the run. He has... Um, both parents that are still living, they're both in good health. Um, I'm sorry, with the exception that dad has, has, has some high blood pressure. He has siblings that are 16 and 18 that are still living at home with parents and both are healthy. He says that he hasn't noticed any significant weight change, no fevers. Um, uh, he occasionally feels anxious, frequently tired, denies any depression. He has no rashes that um, he's noticed or any kind of allergy symptoms. He denies headache today, but says that he's been having a headache on and off for the last few days. His vision, um, I'm sorry, his eyes, he says that he does not wear glasses. Um, he doesn't notice that his eyes have been tearing or watering. Um, any more than uh, usual. His ears, um, he says he doesn't have any pain, um, doesn't notice any hearing change. Um, they don't feel like they're um, clogged, he says. His nose, he's had sinus pain and rhinorrhea for the past, well, he says on and off for, that he's had it, but for the past four days, these symptoms have become worse. No redness or swelling in his throat and his tonsils um, appear to be of normal size, grade two. His uh, neck area, no uh, limbs or uh, swollen glands. He doesn't have any neck uh, stiffness. He says he doesn't uh, feel dizzy or weak. He does have an occasional headache that he manages with the acetaminophen. Cardio, uh, no shortness of breath or wheezing or any chest pain, and he doesn't have any joint pain or stiffness that he um, has noticed. No nausea or vomiting, no diarrhea or constipation. He said no, not really uh, big changes in appetite. He says maybe, maybe a little bit decreased, but not anything that um, that he was too concerned about. His vital signs today are within normal limits. His BMI is 22.3. His um, 
skin looks warm, smooth, and dry. He doesn't have any rashes that I see. Um, his um, skull looks normal, normal size. His eyes um, are not red. The conjunctiva is pink. There's no excessive tearing. Um, his ears, I can see both tympanic membranes um, with that are uh, pearly gray with a cone of light that you can see in both ears. His nose is not um, red or swollen. I do see some clear discharge um, that he keeps um, needing a, a Kleenex for. Um, his throat, his oral mucosa is pink and moist. Tonsils are grade two. His neck, his um, there's not any tenderness around his neck, no limp uh, that I feel uh, that are swollen. Um, He's alert, he's oriented, he's not complaining of any chest pain or um, any shortness of breath. I don't hear any wheezes or crackles or anything. Um, his heart sounds regular, no uh, murmurs noted, and he's got active um, full range of motion in all of his um, extremities. The that differential diagnosis would be allergic rhinitis, acute bacterial rhinositis, or viral, acute viral rhinositis. The plan for him is to um, rest, to continue to take the acetaminophen as needed every four to six hours as directed on the bottle to continue to take a pseudoephedrine for 30 to 60 milligrams every six hours with a max dose of 240 milligrams in a day. He can use some nasal uh, spray, oxymethazolin, uh, one to two sprays in each nostril um, if he feels like he's congested and, and uh, unable to um, breathe through his nose. And he needs some patient education to increase fluids, try to maintain a healthy diet, um, try to get some rest despite how busy he is, and um, good hand hygiene. He needs to follow up in a week or sooner if his symptoms show no improvement or get better and then get worse again. In the case of acute rhinosinusitis, um, Watchful waiting is always an option, and if it doesn't get better, or if it gets better and then becomes worse again, then they are to come back and um, then uh, consideration for antibiotics would be given. At this point, four days in, the um, instructions that I just mentioned are what should be um, uh, given to the patient. If he has any trouble breathing or any emergent condition, um, the patients to go to the ER or call 911. All right, thank you for listening to my um, patient presentation for this week. Bye, thank you.